Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be showing you that uh, how basically you can create a camera application using Python opens open CV library and pillow, pillow library inside to enter let me launch this application and show to you so basically this is the application if you launch this you will access the web camera here this is my uh, laptop web camera it is accessing and we have this basically capture button uh, download button if I click this it will basically take the screenshot and it will save it inside your downloads directory this is the picture it has taken you will see that guys so my camera quality is not clear so that's why the low quality is seeing so if you have a better camera for in, inside your laptop or PC then better image will be there you will see that so now I will building this simple application how we can build out this application so for this we will need two dependencies we will need uh, pip install open cv library open cv dash python and also we will need pillow so these two dependencies are needed for this application so simply install this and now just create a file and inside this guys we will use the object oriented syntax here we will first of all import the twinter library as tk and now to basically import the open cv library we will say cv2 this will import the open cv library and then we will say from pil we need to import the image package and the image tk package and also we need to import the operating system package as well now we basically we can build out a webcam class we will basically initialize the constructor self window so this is a way by which you can initialize the constructor in a class in python guys so we will pass this reference of the self variable we can set the title of the application by self window title this will be webcam app we can even call this class guys basically here we need to say if name is equal to in this case we will simply create an object here We can simply write here, uh, create a root here, in root tk tk, and then basically we can create the class call the constructor webcam app. This is a class. We can pass the root reference and then say root main loop. So what it will do basically, it will start this application if you run. So now you can see the application is started. It has given the title webcam app now we simply need to basically do after this we need to grant access to our web camera so how we can do that guys it's very simple we will simply declare the self video capture and here we will use a very uh, method which is video capture inside the open cv to library in python so here we will pass the number of the camera so i my web camera is two so it takes an integer and self current image to be none so self so if you just see guys what i am talking about we also need to display the web camera so for that we will be displaying it inside the canvas so we will say the canvas widget we will initiate the whole window so it will take you can see self window we are initializing window and here we will be giving the camera width to be 640 and height to be 180 you can also change these values accordingly and then we will pack this on the screen so we will say self canvas pack so if you now basically refresh this application so what you will see your web camera will be launching here you will see it will now get access to your web camera uh, I think some error is taking place the web camera is not showing here so how we can do that I think yeah we need to start the web camera feed by using this method which is update webcam this is the I think in order to start the webcam feed we need to basically initialize a function for this we will declare a function here which is update webcam so inside this guys we will basically this w needs to be small here so 
so here guys inside uh, we will basically start the web camera now to start this we need to create these two variables self dot video capture read we will read one by one and here we will compare if retina is there we will say self dot current image image from array basically here we will simply extract open cv we will use this method which is cv2 color frame cv2 dot color bg r to rgb so all the source code guys of this application is given in the description of the video you can basically get the full source code by going to the description of the video so then we will initialize the photo guys like this image tk and it contains this photo image uh, widget so here the image will be equal to self dot current image so here self con canvas dot create image we will create the image at this location 0 comma 0 image is equal to self dot photo and anchor is equal to tk dot nw that's all this is the thing and self window after you can see we are providing 15 milliseconds and then it will again execute this function which is update webcam so now this will basically start your web camera guys so now if you reload the application what you will see basically this is will be the web camera it is saying that tj is not defined on line number 30 let me see uh, tj sorry this needs to be tk guys sorry just rename to tk so if you reload the application guys you will see basically this web camera is now started inside my twkinter application now we need a download button so right here whenever we add the canvas element right below right here we will basically add a download button so tk we have a button widget we will add it to the window and the text of the button will be simply we can also change this text to let's suppose uh, capture and also we will be giving a command to it so whenever you click this button this function will execute which is download image that's all so now guys we need to create this function which is download image so we will say download image so inside this function guys inside download image this is very simple first of all we need to get the current image is not none in this case if the current image is not done in that case we will provide the file path so we will save it inside our root directory so operating system ex path expand user and we will be saving it inside our downloads directory you can save it in any location downloads this is the name of the file captured image jpg so self current image save it will be saved in the file path and operating system start file file path so that's all guys this is <coughs> the application and if i reload the application here click the so the button is not showing here let me see what is sorry we haven't added the button so we need to call the pack method in order to launch it on the screen so now we will see guys there is a capture button if you click this button your picture will be uh, taken guys you will see that click again now you can see that so this is a nice little selfie app that we developed inside to enter using OpenCV and pillow library guys thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next video